today marks yet another critical occurrence in our country's history. A growing prevalence of criminal elements spilling over into our public domain and claiming lives of our citizenry. As Commissioner of Police, I am tasked to lead the organization primarily responsible for ensuring citizen security and safety. And we therefore owe an account to the public that we serve. Through the course of 2023, the Royal St. Lucia Police Force has recorded tremendous operational successes to include increased police visibility through patrols, traffic checks, community outreach programs, the seizure of about 40 firearms to date and continued, the prosecution of offenders, contact with the public to foster better partnerships to address rising crime threats and trends, an increased collaboration with our partners in the region, especially the French, in crime fighting and border control operations. Through our intelligence gathering efforts, we have been able to successfully avert the commission of several homicides. Yesterday's activities, though truly disheartening, are in no way an indicator of a lack of resilience on the part of the members of the Royal St. Lucia Police Force. These were the actions of cowards intent on spreading mayhem, which we will not allow. Following the recorded homicides across the town of Vufort, the police set in place immediate short-term measures to allay the fears of residents, commuters, the business community, and other concerned citizens. Some of the measures which may be disclosed at this juncture include a heavy presence of uniformed police officers by way of foot and mobile patrols geared towards increasing contacts with members of the public to provide not only physical security, but also a sense of safety as they traverse around the town and its environs. Other efforts such as having a team of investigators on the ground, reaching out to partner agencies such as social groups, governmental agencies, business associations, religious and educational facilities are being undertaken at this time to holistically address the challenges presented by the sustained acts of violence in the area. Violence cannot be effectively addressed by short-term measures, nor by the actions of solely the police. Failure to realize this and address it effectively will only lead to continued acts such as yesterday's rain its ugly heads periodically. It is in this light I call on and call out those who embolden appease, facilitate, and turn a blind eye to the actions of those who wish to sully our country's reputation. You are as virulent as those you protect. Without you, they cannot thrive. And to weed them out, we will firstly deal with you. Often, fear is used as a guise under which enablers hide. But we know this to not always be the case. Some benefit, whether financially or otherwise, from the actions of these individuals. And we as a society and the Royal St. Lucia Police Force as a law enforcement organization will no longer accept this ruse. We are at a pivotal moment in our history. We got to decide to be a country of supporters of law and order, or a country of miscreants and those who provide safe haven to them. I say to you today, the Royal St. Lucia Police Force will not stand by and allow this 
without a fight. A fight we must, for we cannot allow the few to overpower <clears throat> the many. We need to preserve the sustainability of this country, St. Lucia. We call on you, sons and daughters of this country, to take a stand for our country. To the witnesses of this incident, I say to you, I understand your concerns, we understand your fears, but as the saying goes, the only thing necessary for the triumph of evil is for good men to do nothing. We can no longer do nothing. The only thing to fear is fear itself. Without action, we stand as prey, simply awaiting our turn to be impacted by the callous actions of the few. I implore you to place your trust in our capabilities. Report this information anonymously. Our crime hotline 555 is functional and there is no threat of your identity being discovered by any party you may interact with. St. Lucia, together we can do this. With concerted efforts between the police, all affiliates, and the public, the fight can and will be successfully waged against crime.